Hey everybody, it's George Parker from uh, Four State Trucks and uh, also Tough Tested. Today we're here with uh, Jerry Lopshire. He's with Robbins, uh, Robinson's Transport, Transport, right? Correct? Robinson's Transport. Out of uh, Salina, Utah. And uh, he's got this crazy truck behind us that I can honestly say that I've never seen one of these. So uh, we're here at the Great Salt Lake Truck Show. Uh, this is a great benefit. It's to raise money for kidney camp, uh, kids with renal failure. It gives them an opportunity to forget about their sickness and to go up into the mountains, go canoe and camping, and try to just have somewhat of a normal life. So really great event here, and we're really ha happy that you brought this crazy truck. Like I said, I've never seen one of these before. It's called a Mance, is that correct? It's a Mance. A uh, gentleman out of Pahrump, Nevada built it. He would build one a year, and the Robinson boys actually bought it for their dad, and it was a five-year waiting list. A five-year waiting list. So uh, tell me a little bit about it. What year is it? What kind of uh, engine does it have? And it's uh, 1993. And it's only got 25,000 miles on it, so it's kind of a, a thing where they play with, take it out every once in a while for parades and come up here to this special event. Well, sure. Um, and it's running a little 6BT Cummins. Okay. A little 10 speed Eaton. Um, and it's sitting on an Isuzu chassis. I was going to ask so, you what kind of chassis it's yeah, on. So. Um, gentleman just got the chassis and started building. He has a mold. And like I said, he was an older gentleman, and that was back in 93, so I don't know much about him but he had a mold and the cab and the sleeper are one piece that's awesome so what's the uh, wheelbase on this thing ah, tough ah, question uh, uh, about, that that long. about that long so <laughs> we're about that long so like i said this is just i mean it's it almost looks like a mini kw to me so yeah. it's just uh it's just really crazy and then you've got the little card on the back of it you oh. tell me a little bit about that <laughs> uh we actually found the fiberglass body on the ksl which is a local uh, classified ad and we bought the little KW it's a go-kart frame and then we've mounted it on a lawnmower oh, so lawnmower. it's on a lawnmower yeah it took the deck off so we can't cut lawns with it but otherwise it might be more useful kind of cool kind of cool and, it is very uh, cool so I mean I definitely I, I could imagine how many uh, how many pictures are taken of this thing when you're rolling down the road we're rolling up the freeway and people will go to pass and then they back up and they're rolling down windows going yeah we love it they're taking pictures and you're uh okay kind of crazy the That's, traffic's a little crazy but yeah yeah it's a, it's a lot of fun you get a lot of a lot of kids looking and waving and everybody so what kind of a transmission are you running in it Is it's it? an eating 10 speed eating 10 speed That's yeah. crazy so <laughs> so are we gonna take a take a walk around or i know we've got some images that we're going to be displaying of this vehicle of this man 93 you said running the, the cummins oh yeah we got some other images just to scroll through um before before doing that Jerry, why don't you tell us about the company as well, about the company sure. industry. You're sharing some things that was pretty interesting as well. Yeah, it's uh, Robinson Transport. They're out of uh, Salina, Utah. Uh, their main haul is uh, double belly dumps, okay. and uh, they run about 129,000 pounds. They haul coal out of a local mine to uh, railhead to the power plants over in uh, Hunter, which is uh, in the Farron, Utah area and also Huntington, up Huntington Canyon, there's a power plant. So we haul coal into those and they supply power for the area. Um, then we also do a little bit of uh, construction work, you know, haul gravel, okay. get a little gravel pit. And uh, how they got started with uh, the Kidney Foundation is uh, Art Robinson, the founder, actually gave one of his kidneys to his youngest son. Wow and he is now 60 years old with his dad's kidney and his dad has since passed away and uh so it's it's kind of special to the family to get up here and so yeah, his, participate in his this. father gave him two shots at life yes <laughs> originally so, and that's an amazing story so. yeah it really how many uh, trucks are in the fleet in total do you know i mean ballpark you know, uh, about exact. 150. wow so you guys are pretty good pretty big yeah size pretty operation. good size operation okay. and uh it's uh, really the coal mine and the trucking companies that haul the coal are a big asset to our little communities. We, you know, there's quite a few surrounding towns that uh, have drivers, or in some way the coal mine affects them. Sure. And uh, so, how many years has Robinson been involved with this particular show? Is it? Um, 
I believe they this have, is the fifteenth year. Is that correct? This is my first year at this show. I believe. Yeah, that's what they, I heard. It was the we did year. miss last year. We had some uh, problems to deal with, and uh, but as far as I know, I've been with Robinsons ten years now, and they've been up here every year. Every year, like, and and before that, they had come. They were actually coming when it was in, a, I believe, the Salt Palace up in Salt Lake when it was called the Great Salt Lake Truck Show. Yeah. And then it was moved down here to Thanksgiving Point, and this is such a oh, such this an is, outstanding facility. It is it's, a beautiful location here. Yeah. On we, the way in, it's just all <laughs> dusty and dirty, and then all of a sudden you roll into this park, and there's green, lush grass everywhere. So it's awesome. It's a great show. It's a great event. It's for a great cause, and awesome. we appreciate you guys bringing in and being involved with an event like this to help raise money for such a great cause. Like I said, you know, I, I can't imagine what it's like to to be one of these kids going through what they're going pretty tough through. and just to be able to take that opportunity i know they take a lot of medical equipment up into the mountains they do to keep them going because a lot of them are on dialysis so i mean just this is a really great event here in utah we're here in Le lehigh utah at uh, thanksgiving point uh, great salt lake truck show so we've got some other trucks down here. You guys just didn't bring this man. So you, no. You, this wasn't enough. You had to take it over the top. And probably one of my favorite trucks is like second in line down here. But we'll get to that here in a minute. But we're going to take a walk down here and uh, check out some of these other beautiful rigs you guys brought Great. to this event. So tell me a little bit about this Peterbilt we got here. This little girl, um, we actually have to bring it out every once in a while. We have an accident, bad weather or something. It, truck might tip over um, she's worth her weight in gold I'm sure I'm sure we uh, uh, if we have one you know it's it's 24 7 operation uh, the coal haul sure. and we do have some problems with some of the weather or a uh, little livestock on the trails whatever and if we have one tip over then this old girl gets pulled out of the shed and it's we'll probably a lot more cost effective to run your, run your own record than yeah. it is to call a road and service quick. every time. And oh, yeah. quick. We yeah. can get on, get the road cleared, get the equipment back up and, and moving. So uh, what year is this, Pete? <laughs> so uh, so um, we're going to say it's a, uh, what do you think? 19... Uh, uh, six, 90 what? 94. All right. So we're being told from the sidelines that we're uh, we're looking at a 94 Pete here. So do you do you know uh, the specs on this truck as far as the engine and and all that transmission? Well, it's had a few custom touches. You probably see that uh, shifter. The driver wanted something a little crazy with the shifter on that. Okay. So we're gonna pop the hood open here. Let you guys take a gander at this uh, this engine in this uh, unknown year. We're being told a 94. <laughs> So we're going to go with it to 94. So <laughs> I'm sure we'll get a correction somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody is going to be a uh, Peterbilt specialist and let us know. Good old Cummins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys have done a little bit to it. That's it's a pretty clean-looking motor. 400, big cam. So i got to poke my head in here and check out this. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit of a different uh, shifter in it. It's got the, uh, the welded chains, chain links as his... Uh, Shifter. So, is this a truck that you operate, or is you got somebody on on staff? We do have we do have uh, three of our mechanics that are record certified. Okay. I uh, I just go along and help run a service truck if we need some cutting done. If need be, okay, I got you. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful rig, super clean. Especially, you guys say you run a lot in the winter time, so. Yeah, it's it's her better days and some of that takes a little cleaning a little maintenance to keep up on it okay yeah you guys have done a lot to the interior i see here a lot of customization you got uh we got a hardwood that looks like laminate floor in it yeah i got the the dash chromed out yeah but that's pretty blinding when the light hits it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you want to so, keep sun in your face so we're gonna we're gonna step over here to probably what is my favorite truck that i've seen at this show uh this year uh tell me a little bit about this uh needle nose kw here this old 56, this old girl uh, was out in the backyard and the boss kind of wanted a little project, a little toy to work on. So they brought it in and while he was gone, they stripped it down to the frame and the front axle. So it's been completely down. And the boss, down, yeah. boss came back and went, wow, you guys went a little hog wild. <laughs> and the name stuck. Hog and wild, yeah. So then it got its Harley theme. And, well, I mean, uh, if it's called Hog Wild, I mean, you got to go with the Hog, <laughs> the Harley, the whole tie-in. So they cut the back window out and had it etched, and went with uh, 
Austin seats, leather, kind of dolled it up a little bit, and now she's a parade queen and show truck. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say this or not, but I voted for this truck. Oh, <laughs> awesome! Good deal. That's I just. I like kept. Hear. I kept see, looking at it. I walked the the grounds, but I kept coming back to this one for whatever reason. It's just. I mean, everything about it. It's all the lines. I mean, it's it's just a beautiful rig. And they don't make them like this anymore. The little narrow nose. No. Can't wear it. it they are a beautiful old truck. Not a whole lot of plastic in the dash going on in there. <laughs> so, just like I said, definitely. I mean, just by far. I mean, this is a, an outstanding looking rig. It's just beautiful from the from the ground up. So, like, hey, a, what does it look like underneath the hood? Well, it was the engine was painted maroon. Maroon. It had a different theme to go along with the wrecker. Okay. All and right. so that's why it keeps the hood closed. I got you. <laughs> So it's pretty, it just doesn't match. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I said. And, uh, this, oh, you gotta get a close up on the Oh, that's headlight a, that buckets. was one of the first things that I noticed. If you guys wanna check out this uh, headlight bucket here, to the graphics on it. That's some of the dipping that you can have done on your rifle stocks oh, or yeah, anything. The, what do they call it, a hydro? Yeah. Or, yeah. And, Crazy. Uh, it's, it's amazing the stuff that you can do with that. And it was kind of one of those things people stand here and look at it and gawk on it and all of a sudden they notice that. Oh! Oh, crazy <laughs> you know just so, i mean the small the the detail the little detail in, the, in this i mean it just makes all the all the work the difference in the world yeah. i mean puts this one completely over the top as far as i'm concerned 56 needle nose kw beautiful beautiful rig here yeah so we'll move on down to the to the next truck here in the line what do we got down here this is a 64 kenworth and this is Back in the day when they started, this is what the old girls started to look like when they were hauling coal. Okay. This, I believe, this truck came out of Minnesota. I want to call it Minnesota Fats, but don't don't hold me to that. And then uh, they painted it all the original colors that the fleet was, and uh, it's been in parades. It's actually hauled trailers with, like the Harley truck on it to come up here. We've used it to come up here for it and it's it's just one of those old trucks that people just love to hear so i mean basically the rigs that you guys have on display here today those they're just display rigs for you yeah so with yeah. the exception of the wrecker the wrecker has to has to earn its keep but all the others get sure so uh so what year is this uh KW? 64 64 okay and what kind of uh, engine are you running it's got the uh, 455 i want to say Okay. Is it a Cummins or a Cat or? No, it's no Cummins. Old Cummins. And, uh... Here we we'll go ahead and uh, pop the hood up. Let you guys take a look here at the '64 KW. Just again, I mean, I love these old rigs. There we go. That is a. That's a big. That's a big engine. Looks like it fills up everything in between the frame rails. <laughs> just, again, I mean, we appreciate you guys bringing them out. I mean, like you said, your company's been involved with this event for at least the 10 years that you've been involved yeah, with more. Robinson Transport. Again, Robinson Transport, they're out of Swine, Utah. Do a lot of uh, a lot of construction hauling, uh, belly dumps. Belly with coal. And there's, there's one more thing I want you to talk about, Jerry. You mentioned that there is a museum that you got this place. Art, Art Robinson, the founder of uh, Robinson Transport, would uh, would travel around to auctions and, and just have a good old time, and he'd buy a few different uh, pieces. He had a couple of people that would actually restore some of the vehicles, and uh, September 8th and 9th, I want to say is what it is, is uh, Utah Historical Trucking Society and they have a truck show and and there's people that art has met all over the country okay is that and, a, is that held at actually robinson do you guys hold that event at your uh, it's, facility it's, it is he's got buildings that he put up and they call it it's, it's his museum and um part of the utah historic society has you know has helped with that and they have all the trucks that Art has collected over the time. Okay. And then they, he knows people from Reno. Uh, we've had people come in from Colorado and Idaho to this 
So it's it like an antique kind of a show? Antique. And what, what are the show. dates on that? And, and is it open to the public? It is open to the public. Okay. And that's uh, September, uh, I want to say, 8th and 9th or 7th and 8th. Okay. Is there a website or anything, uh, Robinson Transport, that that information might be available if somebody's interested in attending that show? It... If not, I'm not sure if you can just look up Robinson Trans... Oh, probably Utah Utah Historic Society is what can be looked Utah up. Utah Historic Society? Your yeah. Truck Historic Society? A antique trucks. I'd throw that in there, too. Okay. And then, uh, if not, they could probably find Robinson Transport, Salina, Utah. Okay. And we'll and also try to get that information, and we'll try to list it in the comments on this video. That you know, that, that way we can get the, the people the correct information. But, yep. but again, if you're interested in doing that, you can uh, Google probably Robinson uh, Transport, Salina, Utah, to find the information on that, uh, that antique classic sh uh, truck show. Again, you know, we appreciate you guys taking the time. We know what, what's involved to, to bring a rig to a show, to get it to this point, to keep it clean, to keep it running down the road. So on behalf of uh, Big Rig Videos, we want to thank you for bringing, out, bringing them out and uh, being a part of this wonderful event. Perfect. Awesome. Thank it was you. a pleasure talking to you, thank Jerry. You. Take care. Appreciate you.